with a new year comes new style. We're going to change a few things here at the Vagmon because I love you that much. Coming up with new Pokemon design must be abysmal. I mean, how does that process even go? I mean, do they just sit around an office one day, you know, trying to think up some new designs and then they have too much, they black out and then they wake up the next day and they fucking pop into the bathroom, see a live tiger in the bathroom. It turns around, looks at the tiger, say, like, oh, bathroom tiger. Got an idea for a Pokemon. But you have to hand it to Game Freak. Sometimes they pull it off and where they pull it off the most is usually in their legendary Pokemon designs. And I'm here to give you the top 10 legendary Pokemon designs because um, they're the only ones that are actually good. Out of the three legendary birds, Articuno stands out the most because he has the most unique design given the subject matter. You know, it's a Pokemon based on what their type is. Moltres is fire, therefore it translates to fire. Zapdos is electric, so it translates to an electric bird. However, Articuno takes this one because his design of his type is actually more imaginative than the previous ones. Because we really don't have really visual representations of what a ice bird would look like. Now granted, we never had much of a representation of what a, an electric bird looks like, but you know, they tried with Zapdos and didn't really get too far in that. Not saying Zapdos is a bad design, but Articuno is way better than all three of them. So that's one ice bird, let me show you another one. Now you fucked up! 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 Now you have fucked up! The Kami Trio design is by far one of the worst designs of Pokemon ever, mainly because it's just lazy. It's the same palette of the same type of Pokemon, but there is no denying that their Therian forms are a baller as shit. It makes you wonder, why isn't this just the regular design? But the best design one has to be Tornadus, for the fact that he transforms into a bird, radically different from what Landorus and Thundorus transform into. So you have a bit more of a stretch when it comes to the design. Also, all three of them look like they are wearing bras. Arceus may be a overly designed, over conceptualized plot mess that completely breaks the reality of what Pokemon is supposed to be. But I have to give credit, every single facet over detail is designed pretty well and extravagantly. When you look at Arceus, you see a majestical being. You know that this goat that's stuck in a fence is the embodiment of creation. Now, throw a Pokeball at it. Mewtwo's design was already pretty interesting before he had, you know, two different variations of a mega evolution. He looked like a one-of-a-kind creature, an experiment gone horribly, horribly right. And yeah, I do find his mega forms appealing, particularly just one, but to me this design here embodies the idea that no scientist in the Pokemon universe should ever play God, and instead just throw a Pokeball at God. Miloetta embodies the great idea of a legendary songstress and dance dress. You get the idea. As a matter of fact, I'm cosplaying as her aria form right now as I record this. Using the core essential ideas of what a song and dance Pokemon might look like and giving that concept life. Music bars as hair and keynotes as appendages. It certainly is a unique representation of Beyonce.
Deoxys, a shapeshifter of sorts who travels the galaxy in his four different forms. Five if you count the one from the movie, which I guess I will. And really, a Pokemon like that where you can get so much range on what his designs and elements in his designs should look like, it really is impressive of what they come up with, especially his defense form, which is radically different from his other forms. Reshiram and Zekrom are basically the same Pokemon. Saying that I like one design pretty much means I like the other one as well, so I'm putting these two on this side of the list. Cause, yeah, the yin yang motif, even though these two Pokemon utterly fail at portraying what they're supposed to do. Did you know that Reshiram uses fire and Zekrom uses electricity? Well, of course you know that, you played the game, but would you have figured that out from appearance alone? Way to go in incorporating their elements into the designs, game designers. I'm pretty sure you had a field day with that. And don't get me started on Kyorum. No, bad drink. This is top 10. Reshiram and Zekrom. Awesome designs. Yin Yang motif. Pretty cool. Moving on. Yevidal is a Pokemon that looks like a Y because why not? I swear to God that didn't start off as a pun. And again, it's another bird with a very unique design and motif, and they really run with it. The simplest design choices you can make in terms of color is the combination of black and red. It's not just being used here though. It is actually a part of the character's design in terms of modeling. You know, the spikes, the horns, the red skin. It's all well balanced and very versatile. Same thing with Xernus, except, you know, Xernus is a deer and we shoot deers. That's how we do that in America, son. Diancy is in essence, the living embodiment of a diamond that's stuck in a rock. So the simplest solution to making that make sense is put a dress on it and give it a tiara. Bam, it looks beautiful, awesome, I want to marry it, it's already in a white dress. I do. And finally, the best legendary Pokemon design ever made is... You, the viewer. Thanks for watching. Nah, I'm just kidding. I was trying to figure out which one of the weather trio was going to be number one, because they're all really good designs in terms of representing their various motif as the sky, land, and sea, and having an ancient relic theme to them. But I have to give it to Rayquaza. Sure, Kyogre has a more fluid design to him, and Groudon has more unity in terms of style, but Rayquaza just looks so great. They use his colors perfectly, the glyphs on his body or whatever they are, they're pretty cool on his body too. Also, he has a sick looking mega form. Oh, now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. Now you fucked. That is, look at this thing. That is, that is beautiful. Rayquaza, the best looking legendary Pokemon of all time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and remember to follow me on my social media because I like hearing about your opinions. Also, make sure you follow me on www. Drake Vagabond, I come from the future to deliver onto you a warning from the Great Lizard King Xenix. Also, you need to do another LP, like right now. Um. Uh. Bye. <laughs>